welcome Health Quorum. All right, guys, thanks for coming out tonight. My name is Keith Summers, I'm Director of Business Development at Health Quorum. I'm here with our founder and CEO, Rod Eltman. And uh, before we get started, just a quick exercise. Any surgeons in the audience at all? Got one? No. <laughs> all right, well, imagine that you're about to do an open heart surgery, but suddenly your computers go down. You have no analytics, you have no vital signs going. You're in the dark, pretty much. So you can still try to do your operation, but you're kind of at a disadvantage here, right? Um, again, you know, um, hospital leadership teams are basically in the dark with a lot of the decisions they're making operationally. So if they don't have some of this information up front, then they're, you know, they're in trouble. Um, so the opportunity at this point is somewhat easy to diagnose, but difficult to solve. Hospitals are either turning to expensive consulting solutions that take a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of money, or they're doing things in-house. But just like you wouldn't want to operate on yourself, you wouldn't want to self-diagnose your, your health internally. I was just moving by itself. <laughs> um, so our solution is a disruptive technology that is on demand and allows you to diagnose and view health quorum stats real time. So you're not waiting for any consulting companies to send anything. You're doing it totally live um, on the web. We compile disparate data and patient experience to create industry benchmarks. We then display that data in context to deliver actionable insights for decision makers and executives. Our technology has a proprietary scoring algorithm collecting data from over 25 public and private sources. The magic lies in our proprietary algorithm which accounts for practice patterns, clinical results, and patient experience. Our path to success follows the traditional SaaS model. We offer licenses to individuals and groups. By providing immediate cloud access to data and reporting, we will displace expensive consulting firms who charge far too much and acquire months of planning to deploy. In addition to healthcare facilities, insurance companies will greatly benefit from the insights HealthCorp provides helping them to select which providers, facilities, and departments to partner with. Our launch strategy will be to start with free trials to gain users and traction, which we can then parlay into, um, into benefiting our platform with better insight as we, as we alter it. So who are we going up against? Well, as I mentioned, they're the consulting firms. There's some publicly available medical data on the Medicare website, but ultimately um, they don't really stack up and there's a need for an on-demand solution that will you know, solve, that, solve that niche really. Um, we're disrupted because we leverage public data to deliver healthcare benchmarking on demand with actionable insights. So you can have a good technology, but you have to have a founding team behind it to push the levers. We have our CEO, Murad Altman, our advisor, Tracy Dodenhoff, and myself. Between the three of us, we have pretty much all the bases covered. And you know we're looking to hire new talent. But for the time being, um, we're off to a good start here. So our product is live in the Amazon cloud. And we're ready to grow our user base. We've begun exploring other verticals, such as pharmaceuticals and insurance companies. But for now, we're really focusing on hospitals in the Massachusetts area with around 200 beds. At the moment, we're seeking $500,000 investment to explore our launch strategy. So while we gain these users and attempt to push them over into, um, into paid customers, um, you know, we have to scale up, hire more people, and so forth. Thank you for your time, and I'll do questions. Yes. So a lot of it is publicly available um, state mandated data. And then some of it is also private through um, survey companies and, and so forth. But a lot of it's just scattered all over the place. And what we do is we collect it, bring it all together, and present it in a way that's actionable for the hospitals. No. So we've been in development for about two years now. And we're two weeks into you know, going to market pretty much. 
Um, so that's why we're trying to do trials, get some feedback, and you know, help you know, shape, the, shape the product, really, um, with our early adopters. Yes. <laughs> um, so, no, so sorry, that was a metaphor. Um, <laughs> what I was trying to say is that um, you need to have your analytics up in front of you as you're operating as a, as a surgeon, the same way that a um, executive would need to have their business health analytics in front of them on a day-to-day -day basis. So right now, they might wait two months for a report from a consulting company, it comes in, and then you know, the same cycle over again, and they have to wait for new fresh data to come through. So with us, you log into our platform online and you can run reports instantaneously. Yes? Sure. So um, we do focus on readmittance as well. Um, it's not just the initial procedure, let's say. We're looking at a slew of things, and part of that is, you know, do they have to come back? Um, you know, what's their satisfaction? So a lot of it is patient experience tied into it, and if the patient doesn't get cured or isn't happy, they're going to report that, and it's going to reflect negatively on their scores. Does that make sense? Sure. Yeah, I, I see what you're saying. Um, I think the general idea of what we're trying to do is um, have like a thousand foot view so that the decision makers can have eyes on what's going on. And we're throwing up red flags. They have to dig in and really try to solve the problems. But, you know, we're trying to spot them before they arise. But it's a good point. I know what you're saying. Thank you. Thanks.